What's good, my little committee? Welcome back to another lovely, beautiful, sexy, amazing video with the equally lovely, equally beautiful, equally sexy, and equally amazing lit tag. Come on, you already knew what time it was. You already know what time it is. Now let's go. So I was just on IG, just scrolling, looking at various of my favorite ig models you know as you do and some you know regular civilians who got a bit of cake as well and then i come across this video and i said oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy let's run it worry about it yes this nigga tory shot me you shot me and you got your publicists and your people going to these blogs lying and shit stop lying why lie i don't understand i tried to keep the situation off the internet as you can see the video confirms that tory tory lanes the bald-headed eagle from canada Actually, no, he's not bald anymore. <laughs> he's got a hairline now. I'm allowed him that. I can't call him that anymore. Shot Megan the Stallion. And obviously she um obviously she goes on in the in that particular video to say that she obviously lied to the police about what actually happened at that specific time. Rumors were saying that she told them that she stepped on glass which she confirmed and she said that that was because due to the thing happening with george floyd and whatever she, cops were clearly killing black people for no reason so she didn't feel comfortable telling them that there was a gun in the car because then the cops could have just killed all of them and we might not even be having this story today so she said it would be better to lie and say that she she stepped on glass or whatever now i'm not gonna lie this this is very disheartening for me. It's very disheartening. Because when I look at Meg, I see a a, a stallion. Like she's like five ten or something, right? And I sometimes lay in bed and I think I think Meg could probably beat me up. And I'm six three. So i <laughs> she seems like, you know, like she's got that kind of macho kind of bravado type of like energy about her so now when i see five foot one tory like <laughs> that nah, nah, he's not five foot one I, I need to stop disrespecting him but that's what it said something like that on his police report it said he was like five three or something but i think he's like five he's probably like five six in real life or five seven so <laughs> but when i see that he you know her breaking down and, and getting upset on IG and IG Live and all of that. It just disheartens me personally as as a as a fan of, of all aspects of Meg. Not just the music. Because there is the music. And then there's the other stuff that has probably kept a lot of us up quite late at night scrolling through IG. But we won't talk about the hit. <laughs> we, 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 if I make a Patreon, we can talk about that. But... But yeah, this is very sad to see. I I hope that she's recovered. Um, I'm not sure when the WAP video was shot, but she seemed to be dancing in there all right. So I I would hope that, that I, her foot is healed by now and that she tries to remain in good spirits while this is all going on. But a lot of you were obviously hitting me up on in the DMs and on all my socials and asking me to make a video about this and asking me what I thought that they could possibly be arguing about because in, she said in the video that they were all arguing in the car and then she got out of the car and left the car and then basically she felt like a a, a Woody in, in Toy Story 2 moment where, where his arm fell off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. This is a this is a serious topic. I'm I'm gonna stop making jokes about it. I take this very seriously. She got shot in the back of her leg, and that is a very serious thing. And to be honest, I don't know what I I, I can't sit here and and speculate on what exactly they could have been arguing about. But 
I, I, I can't think of any argument that would ever require you to pull out a firearm on someone and shoot it. But then I just think that she must have known that he had that firearm there. Because I think that I, I think it went down like this. I think they were arguing about whatever, and then he probably pulled it out and said, "Hey, if you don't, you know, chill out, then I'm gonna use this on you." And she probably thought, "This dwarf ain't doing nothing to me." Said, "Ah, oh, yeah, I'm done arguing. Go out of the car," and then he shot. Her. And then she probably had that moment of shock, the Toy Story two moment, and then he. He either had a moment of shock like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I actually did that. Or, yeah, that's what you get. It was either one of those two moments. And then, you know, obviously the co- the neighbours called the police and they showed up and then blah, blah, blah. And then we get to where we are today. But who knows? This is just speculation. As I said, we love to speculate over here. That's what we do. We're the speculation organisation. Yes, yes, go write that down. But yeah, as I was saying, so a lot of you was asking me, do I think that that Tory is going to be cancelled after this thing? And I'm going to be very blunt and blatant and honest and say no. no, 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 no. Absolutely not. I'm, I'm just keeping it 8 more than 92, as I like to do, as you know we like to do over here. He is not going to be cancelled. I think... Because we now live in an era where social media is so fast and so vast and so and just moves so quickly from one thing to another, I guarantee you in a month's time, no one is talking about this. No one is talking about this. No one, no one, no one. Well, you know I can sing. And you know how I'm going to prove to you that no one is talking about this in a month's time? What was trending last month? This time last month, what was the what was the biggest topic of discussion? You don't remember it, do you? Exactly. Which means in a month's time, no one's talking about this. That's just it's sad that, that that's the world we live in, but that's just the world we live in and I've just accepted it. You know, the, these things don't stick, you know. And I think when we compare it to and I hate to do this because people always do this whenever there's a situation where a famous person has has abused another famous female person. They they it's the Chris Brown situation, but I have to bring it up just for argument's sake. I think back then, social media was not what it was today, and so the only the only coverage of that whole Chris Brown situation was on the actual news on CNN, on BBC, on all of that. So that made it, you know, to a point where even my parents knew what was going on. And if they know what's going on, then he's then they're just completely cancelled. But I remember back when Chris Brown drops um that song, Transform Ya, and all that. And that song's a banger. Don't get it. That song, probably one of his best songs, I won't lie. But it didn't do anywhere near the success it was supposed to because of... He was just coming off freshly from that situation and people weren't, you know, liking him. I'm not going to lie. Chris Brown, he would be at, at Michael Jackson level right now if he didn't do the Rihanna thing. But because of that, some people just never mess with his music and, and, and see him in a different light again. But he's still here. He's got one of the hottest songs of the summer right now. He's just released another album with Young Thug. It's not like he's he's... He's not cancelled. He's still here. He's still here. People still love him. He still has shows. He still has tours. So he's not cancelled. Obviously, we had R. Kelly being accused of of being a molester, being a, a rapist, being held in, hiding, holding people against their will. And at that time, he was still one the the self proclaimed and public proclaimed king of r&b he was releasing step in the name of love was getting played at every wedding in america every black wedding in america so it 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 wasn't affecting him again social media then wasn't what it was today but still but still it, it didn't affect him and just rappers in general really there's so many stories of rappers you know 
sexually abusing people, quote unquote raping people, beating their girl, whatever. Um, God rest the dead. I think there was a story on it about XXX Tentacion. Um, Kodak Black was going through an incident with that, and those people haven't been cancelled either. I think another thing that definitely works in Tory's favour is the fact that he's he's a he's an established musician. You know, he's been around for for years and years, and he's you know he's got loads of albums, loads of hit records, loads of features, everything. He's he's a well established person. So he's built up a cult fan base that will still ride for him regardless. Pause, no homo. I didn't mean it like that. Will ride for him re- regardless of what he's done. Like if he, if this happened in in twenty fifteen when he blew up from that song, say it. Cancelled. He's cancelled. Absolutely cancelled. No doubt about it. One song. <laughs> Get out of here, man. There's no way he would have been. He would have been out of it. That's it. Probably would have had his his Instagram deactivated, his YouTube channel deactivated. Everything would have just been gone. But he's 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 a bigger artist now. He's got more leverage. He's got more connections. He can pull strings. Even Meg was saying that he that his publicist was feeding blogs lies and whatever. So he he's in that position to to salvage his career and and to save himself from from the 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 gulag of of the public i guess and i'm just being blatantly blunt and blatantly honest so do not kill me in the comments section because i know you guys like to kill me if tory releases a hit song tomorrow no one's talking about this and that's just the truth if tory releases a hit song i'm talking a hit i'm not saying it's a, just a cool vibe that you you just vibe with i'm talking top five top 10 billboard hot 100 everyone's forgetting about this maybe not straight away but if that song rides out until the end of the year yeah it's, and it's just the era that we're in right now is that the right thing no absolutely not i don't want anyone to get that confused i do not condone tory's actions one bit I don't think there should be any time where you should ever inflict any form of harm on a female, especially not with a firearm. I think no matter what argument you're going through, no matter how, you know, angry you get, you should just be able to hold your hold your masculine frame and, and hold yourself together and try and deal with it in a, in a verbal manner. But with that being said, I'm just saying there's a lot of people out there that can separate the music from the artist. So regardless of what he's done, people will still listen to him because he, he's some people's favourite artist. So, and obviously the topic is, is he cancelled? So I don't want people to take what I'm saying as like, I'm not caring about the situation and I'm disregarding it. I'm just making a point to answer the question. But with that being said, I just have to put a disclaimer there, but with that being said, yeah, I just don't think that he's going to be cancelled. I... I think all he has to all he, all he has to do is just release a good a hit a hit song or a hit album or whatever and then he's back in the mix. But yeah guys that, that was all I had to say on the topic. So yeah, um don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the Litty committee because you know we're turned up, we're lit. And um yeah, stay black. And if you're not black, stay whatever race you are. Alright, bet, peace. Oh you know I can sing.